I think all in all as a team, we know the pressure was just to, that we needed a win. And I mean, I didn't realize what I did that game until like probably on the bus going home, someone mentioned it. Um, I had no idea. I just, the games come and you just want to win. So going into it, we knew, um, you know, BU had such an incredible run in America East and we just didn't want to lose our opportunity to play in the championship or in the tournament. I looked a little bit to see, I think a lot of those were assisted. So most of them, I, I was just trying to just take the right cut. Um, it felt like I couldn't miss. I just was like, if, the, if I shot the ball, it was going in. So I remember some of them were, there was one that was like a really low angle. That, that's a shot I'll never forget. It was, I don't know how it went in. I mean, it, it felt to me like it went through the goalie. It should have missed or hit her, but um, those are the kind of goals they were. They just, found their way to the back of the net. Um, so yeah, I guess, you know, I'm sure Liz's speech at halftime was don't like let off the gas. We need to pressure and go faster and, you know, do as much as we can. And I just take that to heart. Sports Illustrated had faces in the crowd and I didn't know what it was. I had no idea. And Mort texted me um, whenever that came out. And she goes, you're in faces in the crowd. And I was like, what for? What, what picture, what game am I at? I'm thinking I'm like a little face and like a big crowd. <laughs> like on a sideline and she's like no Danielle you scored nine goals on nine shots so I was like oh cool this is fun <laughs> I got that and then there was a, a man that sent um mail like he sent me like what I guess you'd call it fan mail um he collected those articles and he sent I guess a copy to all the people that were on them I'll never forget that I thought it was kind of weird kind of flattering I wasn't sure um, but I just had to sign it and send it back. And those are like two things that came out of that game um, that were kind of funny, but I don't know. I, it's a game that I think the Vermont coaches constantly remember, which I'm sorry, but it was kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. That year as a whole, I felt, I felt some good confidence gaining. I had a lot of seniors ahead of me when I was a freshman. Um, it was a very, very strong class and they led the way as, you know, the best they could. And I just learned as much as I could from them. They were really hard workers and they were all, you know, eat, breathe and sleep lacrosse and BU and that spread to all of us. And I remember just feeling the need to fill a role. Um, and I think the whole season kind of led up to it. And that was just like a culmination of the season, I guess, that that one game, um, just kind of feeling, feeling a groove, so to speak. I remember a couple of my teammates and I went to Placid that summer, and I remember that being like a really fun time, um, mostly because like we just clicked, like, you know, freelance across, you just get to like ball out. Um, and I remember that being awesome. And I feel like that helped us as a little group. It was like a couple seniors and um, one freshman. Um, and we just, we just had a great time and that helped us mesh. And I think, you know, the more you have like team events, I guess, off the field, the more it's gonna carry on the field. And it did, um, like I said, the season didn't go great, but we did find a way. And I think that was a credit to the relationships we had.